Hi, this is Laura Chapel, and this is Wireshark Tip 4. If you want to keep up on the Wireshark Tip series, you can follow me on Twitter at Laura Chapel. In Tip 4, we're going to go through how to look for data in statistics protocol hierarchy when you suspect malicious traffic. Now, you always should look for unusual protocols and applications, so perhaps you don't expect to see IRC traffic in there, and you don't expect to see uh, trivial file transfer protocol listed there. But data is also something that you want to watch for. Remember that Wireshark has a, over a thousand dissectors. It understands so many different protocols and applications that it just feels a little unusual to have Wireshark just drop us at data underneath either TCP or UDP or even IP in our protocol hierarchy statistics. I've opened up a trace file called http-download-exe and here we have someone just simply going out to the Google website and they're going to download something. So we see some DNS queries at the beginning, DNS queries for an A record and IPv4 address, and then a DNS query for an IPv6 address as well. We see the TCP handshake and the GET request and the OK, etc. We can see that the client uh, does go back and make additional DNS queries along the way. If we select statistics and protocol hierarchy, Wireshark will put all of the protocols and applications that it understands in a hierarchical structure. You can't sort any of these areas in here. You can't sort on any of these columns in here because it is in a hierarchical format. But uh, it might help sometimes to collapse the section so it's easier to understand what's going on and then expand it out from there. Now when we see the percentage of packets and the percentage of bytes, those are a percentage of all traffic. So it's obvious in this trace file that 100% of the traffic in this trace file is IPv4 traffic. Now I'll expand IPv4 and I can see that 4.38% of all the traffic in the trace file is UDP traffic, whereas 95.62% of all the traffic in the trace file is TCP traffic. When I expand UDP, I can see that we have DNS domain name service. That's great. I don't see data listed directly underneath there, and that is what would be suspicious, is if we suddenly see data sitting right underneath UDP. I'll expand TCP, and I can see that underneath TCP we have HTTP and we have SSL. And again, the percentages provided there are a percentage of all of the traffic. Everything looks good in this trace file. Now let's open up a trace file that has some suspicious traffic in it. The trace file I'm going to open up is called sec sick client and this is a trace file that you can download from the Wireshark book website. It's one of the supplements for the books. We can see already that we have some DNS traffic and we have some ICMP traffic and we have some TCP traffic in here. I will select statistics and protocol hierarchy and here's the dreaded data. Notice that 100% of the traffic is IPv4, and then we have some UDP traffic that's DNS, but then directly under TCP we see the word data. That means that Wireshark doesn't recognize the application that is running over TCP, so it just drops us at data. When you see this, you can right mouse click and apply a filter based on the selected value. Now that will automatically create a hierarchical filter. We can read the filter, it looks unusual. It's data and TCP and IP and ETH and frame. It looks a little strange, but it works. Now if we look at this traffic, we can see that Wireshark doesn't recognize this port number 18067. The client's port number is just a dynamic port number that happens to resolve to the word NEOD2. But as we look through this traffic, Wireshark doesn't recognize it, and in the protocol column it just drops us at TCP. But if we look down the packet bytes pane, we can definitely tell that there's a user and then L space L, 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 and then if we keep looking, we can see Nick, keep looking, we see some more information, then we see user host, and then we see join. All right, so this is IRC traffic. It's IRC traffic that's traveling over a non-standard port number, hence the fact that Wireshark said, I don't know what that is, and just dropped us at data. So that's definitely something that you want to watch for when you're doing network forensics, or even if you're troubleshooting. Watch for this unusual indication 
that we have data sitting right underneath that TCP header. If you want to stay up on the Wireshark tip series, you can follow me on Twitter, at Laura Chapel. And for more Wireshark tips and training, visit chapelu.com.